Hi, I'm a tortoise. Today's patient, today's surgical patient is a sulcata tortoise. And this poor sulcata actually has uh, a bladder stones. Sometimes these guys live with stones for a period of time or for a long time, and it's not a big deal, but these ones are so big that they're occluding or really taking up most of the bladder. And not only that, they're causing a bad secondary infection. She has a urinary tract infection on top of it. So just a young African spurred tortoise. She's probably about three or four years old and a nice flat shell and we're actually going to go in right through the shell. That's our only option unfortunately in this case to get these bladder stones. And so we're just kind of figuring out exactly how we want to go in there and, um, and clean those out. So I wanted to show you guys the x-ray and this is how we actually diagnose the stones. Here's, here's our tortoise head, front legs, back legs. And if you see this circle right here that does not belong. That's one of the stones. And here is actually another big stone. If you can make out another circle there, it's kind of tough to see on x-ray, but with this contrast, it brings them out a little bit more here. And here. You must be very careful when removing the plastron. Pretty nasty stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we just got the stones out of the tortoise, and now we're actually going to replace the shell, or plastron, back where it belongs in this little window right here. So it's pretty nutty to me that you can actually take off and completely sever and separate a piece of tissue, and then it lives. It almost always actually lives in these guys when you put it back on, which is pretty neat. So that's what we're gonna do, and we use epoxy, uh, which I love working with, not necessarily animals, but this is one of the few instances you get to use epoxy and fiberglass and some fun stuff that you don't typically use in uh, veterinary medicine. Tortoises and turtles are what give us that option. So that's what we're gonna do. We're about to lay the epoxy down. Just gonna put a little bit in the middle of the shell, right here. I'm going to put some on the sides. What I'm trying to do is avoid going where the shell um, piece that we took out meets basically where that line is. That's what I want to avoid. Epoxy is pretty, pretty caustic. And you just don't want it getting in there. I've got a piece of suture line right there. And you definitely don't want it getting into the coelom or the abdomen uh, equivalent for reptiles. And that's where all the organs and stuff are. If it gets in there, that could really cause some serious inflammatory response. Alright, so that's laid down. I'm just going to lay that down. Excellent. It's a good size and shape, so that's where we want it. Now what we're going to do is just paint epoxy on top of that. So I'll actually need some more. Get the whole periphery. So we just applied all the epoxy and fiberglass, and here's our final product. It's going to take another little bit of time to dry. But uh, that's pretty much it, and it's a, you can you know, barely tell where the shell is kind of taken out. So it's a pretty neat procedure going in here, and we're going to wake this little tortoise up and um, get her nice and warmed up. Thank you. Come in. So we're just a few hours post-operative, and she's doing great. She's just hiding right now. But uh, she recovered beautifully, and you can see, let's try to get a reflection there. Yeah, there's that fiberglass epoxy layer, and the shell looks great. So hopefully she'll go home tomorrow, and she'll feel a little bit better, more up and at them. You know, big anesthesia today, and um, we'll just uh, see how she does then. So here's our little tortoise. She's doing pretty well, and so fun surgery, and it's fun to see her doing well. And we took a little recheck x-ray, which looks pretty good, and so we're just going to kind of continue as planned. I hope you enjoyed my surgery. Bye.